starter at Iowa? I mean, our program is a next man up mentality. So Coach Yorsage and Coach Franklin prepare everybody, um, all the backups to, to be in a position like this. Uh, Coach Franklin said there was maybe a little bit of communication issues with the false start penalties. Can you take us through that and how difficult that was? Um, yeah, it was just for a uh, tough environment um, here. What was the communication like with Sean throughout the second half? Was he in your ear after every drive? That kind of thing or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Sean's a great leader. He's a great leader. Um, telling me what he see on the field sometimes. <clears throat> telling me what I didn't see. Just, you know, just giving me motivation. How much time did you have before between knowing you were going in and being out there on the field? Was it a lot? And what was my uh, coach Yersich often or message? To, coach Yersich's message to you as you were going out to lead the offense? Um, I want to say defense had the ball probably. I think it was second down, so it wasn't that long. But like I said before, uh, our program is always next man up mentality. So Coach Yersich gave me the nod, and it was time to go. We don't know what's going to happen with Sean, but where, where's your head at? You know, moving forward after tonight and, and everything considered. Um, next game, one to know next week. Um, I know my teammates got my back. I got their back, so we just focus on next week. It seemed like the quick game, you know, early on in the third quarter, kind of. You guys had midway through. You guys had success with that. Was it, did you feel more comfortable doing that than, you know, the slower, slower pace that you guys were running? Um. I wouldn't say I have a preference. Um, I just got confidence Coach Yorsh is in our offense and whatever he calls. You said you have your teammates back. Uh, what's going through your head when one of them goes down for an injury and you hear who's coming down from the fans? Um, it's kind of above my break to talk about. Um, it, ha it happens in a game, so. How did, you, how did your teammates react to you? I'm sorry. How did your teammates react uh, after the game? What kind of support was there there for you in the locker room and that sort of thing? Can you tell us about that? <clears throat> um, we're, we're a family, so no matter what, uh, everyone has each other back. Uh, they have my back. What was Iowa doing well tonight when you came into the game from your point of view on defense? Um, I think it's just we just need a better execution on defense, on offense, I'm sorry. How do you go about doing that? And what things were, did you, was there any areas you feel like were executed well tonight? And either way, what, what is the first thing tomorrow when you get in there that you're going to look at and want to improve? Well, for, well tonight, uh, watch the tape uh, tomorrow, buzz the tape with the coaches, um, and just take um, his advice on what I need to do better and just work from there. Saquon, you were able to take some deep shots in the game that didn't necessarily work out, but I think you had Johanna at least one play just one-on-one -on -one down the middle of the field. And yes, even though the result wasn't good, is that kind of the matchup you wanted? Is, is that something you can take thinking he's going to be able to make a play? Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's visible frustration after three false starts in a row. What's the discussion of the huddle like after that and when you go to the sideline? Um, it's always a next play mentality. So whatever happened in the last play, we got to put it behind us. And um, yeah, next play mentality. Uh, who stepped up after that and was kind of the leading voice saying we got to get this fixed? Um, mostly it was our O line. I love those guys. Um, we just we just had to work work something out. It seemed like towards the end of the game, you guys kind of switched from doing the clap to maybe just taking your foot up or something like that. Whose call was that really to make it? Because communication was obviously struggling. Um, that was coach's coach's call. So <clears throat> listen to what he say and we just trust and believe. Do you think that helped? Um, yes, I think it helped a lot, yes. How do you use this as a learning experience, as a turn it into a positive uh, rather than, than dwell on it as maybe some sort of negative? How important is that for you? Um, it's, it's very important. Um, definitely got to build off this. Um, use this as, uh, as, as fuel, sorry. Yeah. And um, just keep getting better. Take on what was Mike Yersich's kind of message to you at halftime when you knew you were going to be running the show for the final 30 minutes? Did he say anything to you? Did you say anything to him? Did you kind of limit playbook or maybe enhance some of the things that you do do well? Um, he asked me, was I good? And once I said yes, he just said he's not going to change anything up. So just went from there. When he asks good, does he mean like you comfortable or what's he, what do you think he means by that? Meaning like, um, like I'm in, so you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it's, it's my time. So that's what he meant by yes. How much confidence do you feel like he has in you? Um, I think he has a lot of confidence um, in us as an offense and also in the QB room. Um, we also have confidence, confidence in him, and uh, we trust his coach. This probably wasn't the easiest thing for you to come down and talk to us uh, after a game like this. What what went into your decision to go ahead and say, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, face the reporters, kind of? Um, I just feel like it's something that that we have to do. So, you know. Um, yeah.
feel a sense of responsibility tonight? Um, yeah, I do. I do. But then again, it's a team game. Um, come come back tomorrow in the building. Uh, let's work. Yeah. Hey, Quinn, just the difference between the speed of a defense you see, even Penn State's defense mm -hmm. in practice, and the speed on the road of the Iowa defense. Was that any kind of adjustment for you? Because you just haven't had a lot of game experience at Penn State to this date. Was there any adjustment for you? <clears throat> um, I know I haven't had any experience, but I, I go against, uh, in my opinion, the best defense in the country um, every day uh, in camp. So um, I think those guys prepare me very well. How much easier is it going to be next time out after dealing with this? I, be I believe it would, be, um, it would get easier, um, more comfortable. Yeah. What's the challenge trying to get those reps with the ones? Because obviously, like you said, you get them in camp, but yes. you know that's like five, six weeks later. So what's the challenge of that for you trying to almost pick up where you left off in camp? So Sean gets a lot of reps mm -hmm. um, with the ones, um, and I get reps with the twos. A, a huge key for me is just why he's in, just uh, mental reps and being mentally locked in. And it's, it's basically me getting a rep. It's just not physical. Mm -hmm. yeah. Was he a sounding board for you during the game? How much input did he have? A lot. A lot. Um, he was he, like, like I mentioned before, he was yeah. telling me stuff that I, uh, <clears throat> that he's seen that I, that I didn't, and he would just keep motiv motivating me. Next, pick, uh, next play mentality. And I remember him working with you in camp way back in the yes, day. Sir. Does it kind of take you back to those days that you guys have that relationship? I mean, I wouldn't say it took me back to the um, working in camp, but yeah. uh, since I've been here, uh, Sean took me under his wing. So yeah, we have a really cool. Uh, relationship and really close bond. Uh, bond. If you have, I was really upset coming off tonight. Obviously, you guys have the relationship that goes back. Mm -hmm. Did you say anything to him? Um, yeah, uh, like, like I said before, uh, we got each other's back. We're family, so you know, it's just tell each other to keep our head up, and <clears throat> it's gonna get better for you. If we don't know what's gonna happen with Sean, but if you have to be the guy for an extended period of time, how instrumental is he to, to moving this offense forward? Can you repeat that question? I'm sorry. If you have to be the guy for a while, mm -hmm. you know how instrumental is Sean to helping move this offense forward, even from in, from the sideline? Uh, he's, he's a he's a huge key. Um, but as mentioned before, next play up mentality, next player mentality, um, with everything we do. How about absorbing absorbing some of those leadership skills? Because quarterback by nature, it, it, you have to be a leader, and obviously yep. he's a captain. So how much do you have to kind of grasp that? Um, I think he did a very good job on the sideline. Um, although he wasn't able to physically be out on the field, um, he got us right mentally. But I meant in yeah. terms of you of becoming somebody who's more comfortable with that, or are you comfortable with that? Yeah, I, I, I feel really comfortable, yes. Last one. What sort of impact did the crowd have tonight? Um, it, it was a tough environment today. Um, yeah. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Thanks Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.